All right, you guys. So I have picked the giveaway winners. It is the shooting stars. So message me down below or in YouTube comments. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the restock. So first we have Peeps, and that is with an exclamation point at the end. It is this beautiful pale yellow, and it is scented like a very sugary candy. It is very soft and creamy, and I love it. It is a slay slime, so it has some of the Daiso clay in it, and this is probably one of my new favorites. And just so you guys know, this whole weekend and spilling out onto next week, I'm having an Easter sale. So if you buy three or more slimes, you will receive a free four ounce in your order. And your whole order will be 25% off. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, you guys. So I have picked the giveaway winners. It is the shooting stars. So message me down below or in YouTube comments. All right, you guys, so this is a new slime, and I'm letting you know I wanted to kind of have a theme within all of my slimes, so I kind of wanted to do what Slime Yowie does and put a pun on one of her slimes so you can kind of do what you want, but they all relate because you have a pun. So if you think that's something that you guys think is like interesting, kind of cool, kind of neat, let me know in the comments below because that's something I really want to incorporate because I can't figure out a way to tie in all my slimes together to like do everything that I want to do with slime. Okay, so the name of this slime is Bee Ter Sweet Chocolate Mousse. And I thought it was really cute. And so all of these slimes are going to have bees or stings or buzz in them to kind of match the name of my shop. Uh, anyways, getting on to the actual slime, um, this is a super thick clay slime. It is one of my new favorites. I'm playing with it right now as I'm doing my voiceover and editing. It is super glossy when you kind of let it sip, but when you touch it, it goes matte. It is scented like a super amazing chocolate, and I love this slime, and I literally like, I need this as like a huge batch. So if you get this, definitely get it in a six ounce because it's too good to pass up. And it fluffs up so much. So next we have Egg Hunt. And this one does not have a bee pun on it because it is a limited edition Easter slime. So it won't have a bee pun on it because I wanted to keep it as an Easter slime. So this is actually a new texture. Um, it is a very soft, icy slime. And it is white glue. So it's not a clear glue base. It's white glue and there are the jumbo foam beads in it to act as the eggs so one of my favorite things to do when i'm bored is play with slime with the jumbo foam beads in it and then try and pick out all the beads and then count them you know because i don't have a life so there you go and that's what i like to do so orders of this will come with a small bag of extra jumbo foam beads in it just so you can you know add them make it look cute and this slime is scented like Fruit Loops because I was kind of thinking Easter morning, you're eating cereal, comfort food, Fruit Loops. I hope you see where I'm coming from there. Next, we have the Bink Lake of Australia, and this is a super glossy clear glue. I'd say it's a translucent because there's also white glue in it to make that translucent slime effect. And it is unscented because I wanted to preserve the clarity, and it is inspired by the Pink Lake of Australia. It is a lake, obviously, in Australia that is colored pink by the minerals that surround the lake. So it was super cool, and I've seen it, and I really wanted to do a slime inspired by it. So I finally did it. Next, this one was actually an animal, so I didn't want to change the name of this one, and I love this one too much. So there's no bee pun on this one. It is called the Gold Day Dust Gecko, and it is also, it was supposed to be a limited edition St. Patrick's slime, but I brought it back because I literally love this cloud slime. It is probably one of the most drizzly cloud slimes I've ever felt, and it's so soft and spreadable. 
I just can't. And it is a very vibrant green. And if you look up the Gold Day Dust Gecko, it is a super gorgeous green skinned gecko with this like blue chest. And then there's like red flecks in it. And it's so gorgeous. So this is a slime. It is a thick cloud slime, obviously, as you can see. And it has the beads in it, the blue beads to represent the chest and then the red glitters in it to represent the flex inside the gecko and so this is unscented because i wanted to make sure the cloud part portion of this didn't get affected because sometimes it can affect slimes but it will actually come with the glitter and the beads are on top so just so you know Next, my next slime is actually inspired by my beautiful mother, and she has her own website where she sells jewelry. I will link it down below. It is amazing. She also, she also has an Etsy shop, so she has a website and an Etsy shop, and she actually just got a sale from one of you guys. I'm hoping that was one of you guys, but it is called Starstone. This slime is because one of my favorite pieces from her is a point that's called starstone so this is a clear slime colored black and it doesn't dye your hands because it is a clear slime and it has some silver glitters in it to represent a real starstone that she actually uses in a lot of her jewelry pieces so definitely go check her out next up we have mermaid bee elixir and this is a take on the word elixir because it's amazing and this is a gorgeous pale blue slime completely colored by blue glitters and it is literally so gorgeous and bubbly and there's so much glitter in it and i love it it is also definitely a very thick clear slime so if you're looking for something like that this is definitely the one to go for it is colored with i think pink iridescent glitters green iridescent glitters uh, a mermaid glitter i don't really know like the combination of them and then there's some more like silver glitters and bigger pink iridescent glitters so there's a lot of glitters in this and it looks so gorgeous once it's cleared up next we have another new slime to the store and this is called sour water beelin pop rocks and it is actually a brand new texture i haven't seen anybody do this before at least do it in their shop and sell it um this is a sand slime so yes i know it's amazing um it is inspired by the sour watermelon pop rocks and it is a super sizzly super thick Excuse and creamy me. just amazing sand People slime it is used videos with craft sand so it's perfectly fine it's not like i'm going to the beach and just picking up sand you know um and this is scented like a very citrusy sweet candy it's really and it has a sort of tanginess to it so it's really nice the only thing to note about this time is when it gets cold or if it's kind of stiff the sand pieces will fall out a little bit but you just have to add a little bit of lotion or add a little bit more slime and that will just fix it right up but yeah this is definitely an amazing slime and i definitely would recommend going for this one if you're looking for a new texture so next we have ambethyst and this is a beautiful blue purple colored clear slime and it is a little foggy in this clip so trust me when you get it it is so gorgeous the clarity is one of it's probably one of the most clear slimes i've ever made and the, it's very thick and I love the color. It's so vibrant. I just, this is probably one of my most favorite clear slimes that I've ever made. And it actually won't come with the clear piece on the bottom because it was just kind of mixing. So I decided to just do the purple slime on the top. So next we have mini bees cake and this is the take on the word cheesecake because uh cheesecake is amazing it's my favorite dessert ever let me know what your favorite dessert is this is a super glossy thick creamy slime on the top and then it is a brown cloud slime to represent the graham cracker crumbs on the bottom and the cloud slime on the bottom is amazing it's like so 
drizzly and so when you mix it with the base on top it turns into this beautiful textured cloud cream it's spreadable it's thick and i just i love how this just paired so well together and obviously it is scented like cheesecake so this lime is it's just you know it's it's, just, it's too good to be true but it is true and it's amazing and i love it and i want to steal it but i can't because i already packed them for the restock so it makes me sad but it's just definitely a great slime to go for if you're looking for two tones two textures and then kind of mix it together Next, we have Hot and Bee Turd Popcorn, and this is a super interesting slime, actually. It's a different texture than I've, what I've done before. This is a take on one of the slimes I first had in my shop, and it was called the Popcorn Trio. If you guys remember that, you are the OG fans, and if you can tell me the three names of what they were, then you will definitely get a pin because oh my god that's that's true following right there but it is a clear slime on the bottom so it will eventually go clear and it creates this really like glossy like um coating on the popcorn pieces as well as the foam beads so it looks just like popcorn um speaking of the pieces it is crushed packing peanuts and you guys get to crush them yourself to make it so you can kind of like popcorn effect you know what i mean and then it is scented like hot and buttered popcorn and it also has the yellow foam bees in it just to add a little bit more element of the popcornness. okay next up we have dragon fruit buzz and i was kind of thinking you know at like proms and stuff how they call like punch buzz is that like a thing that happened i don't know i don't go to part proms because i'm not old enough but you know i go to dances and i feel like they call things but i don't know just work with me here okay thank you so this is a purple and gray base it looks just like a dragon fruit and then it has these super cute purple beads on top that actually are like extremely close to the real color of an actual dragon fruit so that's really interesting and it is scented like a very tropical sweet fruit so that's amazing next i was really proud of this name i thought of it a couple days ago when i was kind of considering doing this puns idea and this is called bee lime fluff i know it's so cute i love it oh my god okay uh it is probably one of the most drizzly slimes i've ever 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 felt um just a quick tip for drizzling slimes you have to drizzle them evenly so if that makes any sense to anybody you have to kind of pull them until they're even so you can't just like pull it and then it comes down in chunks no you have to kind of pull it evenly og slimes has a video of it on her instagram so go watch that and this is scented like a citrus fruit cake thing it's it smells amazing and it is this beautiful pale green color and it's perfect for spring and easter and everything so yeah next up i couldn't actually think of a bee pun for this so i'm gonna let you guys think of a bee pun for this this is tutti fruity you can change up the words a little bit you can add some words you can do whatever you want yes okay um but this slime is a very thick base on the bottom it is actually colored with a paint called tutti fruity so that is where i got the name from and then there's a bee combination on the top it is rainbow foam beads but it also has extra blue and purple foam beads because i wanted that contrast between the lighter beads and then the darker beads because there aren't a lot of darker beads inside of those like color combinations of the rainbow foam beads and it is scented like a very fruity candy 
Next, we have guavin nectar, and I kind of figured that this was a bee pun in itself because of the nectar. You know, bees drink nectar, I think. Um, and, you know, I'm taking biology totally. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Um, and this is a very thick, glossy, just base slime. It's just very simple, but it's so much. It's just so glossy. As you can see, the camera does not do it any justice. And it is a beautiful pinky red color. So it looks like a guavin. I act guavin. Wow. No, like a guava. Oh my gosh. Like an English today? No. Um, I actually had like a picture of a guava to, you know, compare the two. You feel me? Okay. But it's amazing. And I love this slime. This is my go-to every time I'm bored is guavin nectar. Next, we have Buzzin' Cotton Candy, and I changed it from Cotton Candy Whip because I just like Buzzin' Cotton Candy better because I feel like it's cool. It sounds kind of like something from Disneyland. You feel me? Okay. So, this slime is a very thick blue base, and it is so creamy and thick. I love this slime, by the way, and it is like a very sweet chocolatey scent, candy chocolate. So, I know that's kind of a weird scent for cotton candy, but for some reason, it just like works with this slime. I don't know why it confuses me too, but if you get this, trust me, you'll, you'll know what I mean. And then it has the pink beads on top just for that extra cotton candy effect. So next, I'm not changing the name of this one because this is one inspired by my family. So this is Margarita Fridays. So it's not going to change to a bee pun, just so you know. But this slime is super thick, clear slime. I don't know if I... Oh, yes, I do. Okay, I was kind of nervous that I didn't have any of this in stock. And I was like, no, because I'm out of clear glue right now. So, But I do have it in stock. <laughs> um... But this is a very thick, icy slime. So it is a pale green yellow color to look like the margarita mix that is non alcoholic and that you just add into like vodka or tequila or I don't, whatever, whatever you add into, you know, that sort of thing, if that makes sense. But this is very thick, clear slime, and the icy pieces just give it a really nice sizzle and crunch to it. So this is definitely a great textured slime. So next we have to, we have to, what? Oh my god, I am so tired, I don't even know. We have Hostess Snowbee, and this is a take on the word snowball, um, because it is the little snack cakes that I used to eat as a kid going to the water park that my grandma would buy me that were super unhealthy, but I ate them anyways because I'm a child. Anyways, this is an amazing slime. It is a probably one of the most drizzly slimes I've ever felt. And it is super thick and creamy. And then it has some of the little icy pieces for a little bit of texture. And then the scent is a coconut chocolate. And it is amazing. Next, we have Honeysuckle. And this there is no bee pun needed for this, you know? Okay. It is a very thick Daiso slime. It has a really thick butter texture to it. But it isn't exactly like a pure butter slime. It is just a really nice slay slime. And it is scented like a very sweet kind of florally scent. This is definitely one that is underrated in my shop. It should definitely be shed into the light because it's just, it's amazing. And then it has these super cute green beads on top to kind of capture the leaves of honeysuckle. Which are gorgeous and I think they're almost prettier than the actual flower. Uh, just Google a picture and you'll see what I mean. It is literally amazing and I love this and yes, just please, this is amazing. So this is Cocoa Puffs, no bee pun needed because this is an OG slime, so we're just going to keep it the same, you know? So this is a super thick, 
base slime. It is probably one of my favorite slimes ever that I've ever made. And this I've had in my shop every restock. So it is probably one of my best sellers. And it is a very thick base slime. It is colored just like the milk from Cocoa Puffs when you're done with your cereal. And then it has some larger I wouldn't say jumbo, but some of like bigger sized beads. They're kind of like a middle bead. It's it's interesting. Um, but these are super thick and it's creamy. And I'm sorry for the out of focusness. I just, I don't know what's going on with my camera today. It's really tired like me. Um, but this is scented just like the name. It is scented like Cocoa Puffs. And it's amazing and super bubbly. Next, we have Mango Ice Beam, and this is, take on the word, ice cream, so, yeah, and this is a super thick cloud slime. I know I have a lot of cloud slimes in this restock, as well as butter slimes, so I'm proud of myself for getting some new textures in there. Anyways, this is a mango ice cream scented slime. It is super drizzly, super thick and creamy and spreadable, and I love, 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 love this slime. It is definitely one of my go-tos when I'm bored, and it is an amazing texture. It actually has a similar texture to my mango sorbet, which actually ended up selling out last restock, and I don't have the materials to make it again right now, so just a note, we're just going to have mango ice cream for a while until I can make some more mango sorbet. So that is mango ice cream. It's, it's amazing. And then we have cereal milk, and this, there is no pun on this one because it is an OG slime. And obviously this is a very thick and creamy, not really creamy, I'd say it's more just thick and glossy. Um, just base slime, it is so gorgeous, it's beautiful, glossy, it smells like cereal. It's just, oh my gosh, this is, I'd say it's a dupe for parakeet slimes is cereal milk so if you're looking for something that you can kind of get on hand whenever you want it would be this slime so just so you know this one is amazing and it's i play with this one almost every day so it's a little you know it's yeah it's just amazing Anyways, I really hope that you guys like this video and three shooting stars. Make sure to message me on YouTube or on Instagram, whatever works best for you. And I will get the, you the information for the giveaway. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to see more cool restocking videos, challenges, DIYs, whatever else you want to see from me and hit that notification bell every time you want to be notified every single time that I post one of those videos. Leave your comments and suggestions in the comment box down below and I will be liking, replying, and commenting the first hour of this video. Anyways guys, I love you so so much and I'll see you next week. Bye!